Okay, hello. So today I just want to talk about, uh, well, I'd like to explain what this sign is. So as you know, it's really important that we um, make efforts to maybe do things that feel a little weird, but uh, that's nothing compared to what will happen if we don't uh, catalyze a paradigm shift. And uh, to, a, to a, a collaborative world, right? So this is E in sign language, and I do that to promote the resource-based economy. It's uh, kind of a way to make us uh, um, feel together uh, in, in a group and to um, create a, a, like a collectiveness. And, and it also, you know, people seeing us do that it, um, it, it helps promote the resource-based economy because they're like, what, what's that, right? And they're like, well, that's, that's E for resource-based resource economy, okay? Uh, I highly recommend doing that. Uh, actually, I kind of beg you to do that or, um, and say happy RBE instead of uh, you're welcome or instead of goodbye. It's a very easy way to advertise the resource-based economy. Um, so, it, it, it is kind of uh, hard to grasp our power, right? But, but us individuals, we do have a lot of power. Um, especially, especially with simple things like that, right? Okay, so, um, I'm sure you've all heard about the six degrees of connection that connects uh, all of us in the world, right? So, just by talking to the people that we, we know, right? And getting them to talk about uh, something to the people they know um, six times, uh, it, we, we reach the whole world. Okay, so it really is possible if we want to, if we choose to, to get a message out there. And the message that we need to get out there is that we all can live a life of luxury in a resource-based economy. Uh, this is a new paradigm, right? In the past. Some people say that there was plenty for all, but I'm not quite sure of that because um, because of, uh, well, I really like the author Marvin Harris, and he talks about, um, or for instance, Jar Diamond with uh, the book Collapse, and so they talk about population pressure, right? And so um, before we had uh, the capacity to produce like we do now uh, with, with very little labor, right? Due to automation, well, there you know, uh, there were there were limitations of, of how much there was for everybody. At least that is, in my opinion, and the opinion of many others. And so, um, so there could have been there could have been a sense to worrying about who gets uh, the goods, right? And and, and 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 choosing or finding a way to establish. Who gets to live a great life and who doesn't, right? But that's not the case anymore, right? And this differential, this, this system of differential advantage, is is going to is going to is going to kill all the ecosystems on the planet because because we're we're fighting each other instead of working together, and that just inevitably leads to us competing and not working as a unified family. Um, and, 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 and progressing together, okay? So, um, a lot of people talk about this, this idea that competition is necessary for evolution and uh, although competition may have its, its, its places in, in, in uh, evolution, it's collaboration that, that actually really is beneficial to evolution and I can prove that simply by uh, telling you that, that our bodies are a colony of microorganisms living in symbiosis, right? And, you know, we have all, we have many billions of cells and they're all, they're, they used to be unicellular organisms and they're now, they're, they're, they're together, right? And on top of that, in our body, we need all these other uh, microorganisms, bacteria and the like, to function. Right, like our digestive system, for instance. Right, so we are a colony of microorganisms living in symbiosis. So collaboration 
is what really helps us evolve and grow. Um, so I guess that's enough for this video. Remember, we can end war and poverty and terrorism and create a just and sustainable future simply by telling one new person every day that now everybody can live a life of luxury in a resource-based economy. Happy RB.